Here it is, Holy Week, and Monday Thursday. And on the night of Monday Thursday, Jesus was arrested, and so began the torture in his kangaroo court where he was judged that leads into his crucifixion on tomorrow, Good Friday. The disciples, of course, perplexed as Jesus was crucified, and what does all that mean? And what All their hopes, they felt, were dashed. But then we know that he resurrected on Resurrection Sunday, the date on our calendar that is Easter, and that is what we're excited about. And we want to share some things to think about. But before I forget, I just want to invite you, if, if you don't have a place to worship this weekend, join us online for time of worship Sunday morning, usually about 9.15. You can go to our website, fbgreensburg.org, and there'll be a button there to click, take you right to the video. You can also see the video at a later time. But we just hope you can join us and, and worship the Lord and celebrate. But think back now on this Monday Thursday. Think about Jesus. He had such compassion for people. You know, he, was, he would weep for the crowds. Uh, he wept when Lazarus had died, his friend. And he longed for his people to come to him, he said, like little baby chicks come to the mother hen. Because he offered love and he offered the right way to live and he offered leadership for them and for us even. He has such compassion on the crowds when he saw that they were like, like sheep wandering and they needed a leader. He wants to help you. He wants to bless you. He wants to bless us all. Jesus came from heaven. You see, he set aside everything he had. He was, he was part of the Trinity of God, the Father, and he sat at his right hand. He had angels there. There were all the splendors of heaven that we can't even imagine. And, and there was the power and the authority uh, that he had in that role as part of the Godhead. And he set all of that aside to come down here sacrificing everything for you and for me. That is awesome. And on this, what we celebrate Monday, Thursday, Jesus' commitment to you and I went deeper than words. He faced deep loss and pain and the end of his earthly life. When he went to the Garden of Gethsemane before his arrest, he prayed to God the Father for God's will to be done. It says in um, <clears throat> Mark 14 that Jesus was deeply distressed and troubled. You see, he was God, but he was also human, and he felt what we would feel facing death. And yet, with that sorrowness and that heaviness that he began to feel, he cries out to God the Father to take it away, but he also says, not my will, your will be done. That is amazing. He's facing pain. He knows what's coming. He's facing torture and, and mocking and, and great disappointment and death. And though the evening began with Jesus surrounded by his disciples as they celebrated the Passover, what we call the Last Supper that night, at his arrest, they all scattered. And now he's surrounded by his enemies and he's having to face his enemies alone. Perhaps as you're viewing this video today, you feel alone. Maybe physically alone at your home or in your room. Or maybe you simply feel alone no matter who else is around. And you're enduring a very difficult time and there's a pain within that is haunting. A lot of things in our minds these days. Fear is everywhere. Fear about running out of food or medicine or even things like toilet paper. And, and fear about getting sick, the coronavirus, or some other complications. Fears for our families, for our friends. And then there's, there's a bit of sadness with this these days. And there's an uncertainty. How will all of this work out? And maybe you're grieving the loss of a friend or a loved one in this time. And it's that much heavier. Jürgen Moltmann, a theologian, he talked about that period of time between when Jesus died on the cross on Good Friday and Resurrection Sunday, Easter. He said this, God weeps with us so that we may someday laugh with him. Jesus came and endured the pain of the cross, endured human suffering, and he knows what you and I are going through. So I encourage you to trust God even as Jesus trusted the Heavenly Father as He faced the cross. 
And even though there's evil surrounding us, and even though the devil is prowling around like a roaring lion these days, trust God. God's will will be done. There's a uh, comment I've seen on Facebook. Maybe you've seen it this week. It says, they're predicting this will be a rough week for America. And it was a rough week for Jesus too. But just look at the outcome. Good point, isn't it? Resurrection Sunday. So I want you to be encouraged, as it says in 2 Corinthians 4, Therefore we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen, that is eternal. Lastly, I just encourage you, would you pray, not only for yourself and the loved ones you have and your friends, would you pray for our world, asking God to sweep across the world in this momentous time to bring people to God, to bring them to hope and to life in Him. Would He use His Holy Spirit to melt hearts and dissolve walls and bring our spiritual awakening to God like this world has never seen? God bless you. Let's pray for a great weekend and for many people to come to Christ. Amen.